Okay, so uh, we've got the Woodruff key in. So I'm going to put the rotor on, with obviously with the keyway, to try and line it up with the key. There we go. Just need to tap it on probably because the, the key, I probably didn't have the key quite flat. So it's just sort of flattened the key as it's gone on. Uh, then we've got a new uh, lock tab. So that's going on there. And I probably won't put that on yet. Actually, I'm just going to, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the nut on. Because uh, you know, there's a possibility I might have to take the rotor off again. I don't think so. But uh, there's a possibility. Right, then I've got these spacer, these spacers, which I've already put on the three uh, stator uh, studs. Now I've got my stator and I've fed my wire up through this gland, which of course is a job in itself. And then I've got a swarf there, I need to get rid of that. Which isn't easy getting it off a magnet, but there we go. Pull the wire up. Let's have a look. That was probably the best position in terms of the wire. So we've got a nice long bit coming out. Then we're going to try and fit these uh, on the status studs. There we go. And we'll see what we've got in terms of a gap. The trouble is these are a pain to get on, but they're far worse to get off. So that I get it on and it's not right and it doesn't look right at all. I should just try, I should probably revert this, I should give this a little ding. See if that makes any difference at all. Um, yeah. It's one of those where I want to get an equal, but the last thing I want to do is no, you know, break a stud. I mean, sorry, I mean break a crankcase. It's just a little bit tight. It is a little bit. Yeah, you see, when that's up, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a little bit tight there, but I'm happy with that. So uh, we've got the spaces on the other side. Yeah, that's okay. That's eight towel. Just a fraction tight there, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's okay. Right, phew. Uh, what are we going to do? So then I'm going to get some sealant and just pop some sealant. Uh, to try and stop any oil going up uh, past that gland. Uh, yeah, so I've got this uh, three bond liquid gasket black. I think that should uh, that should do it. I just want to stop any oil getting up there. Yeah, 
should be fine. Like I say, we've got the seal in the top. We'll put that in in a minute. Although that that will probably need adjustment, but we've we've got the seal in the top and the bit of sealant there. I think it'll be fine. I don't think there's any chance of oil coming up that gland. <laughs> Famous last words. Right, uh, going to do the rotor up properly now. So I'll take that back off. I'm going to get my uh, locking tab. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a pair of pliers. I'm just going to bend, uh, bend the side up a little. So that when I get it on, it's just a bit easier to bend up. You know, we should be sticking out of it. Then we're going to put some Loctite on the uh, rotor nut. All right, so I'll put it on the shaft. Just for, you know, belts and braces, because we've got the locking washer as well. And get that nut on, making sure that the uh, tang doesn't slip out of its uh, of the uh, groove on the rotor. Otherwise, it's not going to be locking. It's very easy for these to slip out, and then you think that they're locking, but they're just actually lying flat with the tang bent. There we go. And then, so I was going to say, at some point the engine will start turning over, which is that point. And then I've got my dear old uh, spare crankshaft pinion. That's in, yeah. So uh, this is then torqued up to 55 oh foot pounds. The torque wrench set to 50. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this backwards again because the camera's in the way, so I'm lifting instead of pushing down, which is not great, but it's only 50. <laughs> there we go. Just one for luck. Yeah, there we are. And then hopefully I'll be able to bend this over and see if I can get the moulds. I can get the moulds to grip on that edge. Come on. There they go. I just got it now. And tighten them up a bit as I go. There we go. And there, the locking tab, probably can't see it, but I've got a good flat on it on that side. We've got the stuff on it and uh, we're good. One final check. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, great. Oh, yeah, don't forget to take out the pinion. <laughs> that would have been a bit of a disaster. So, let's see if I can get onto this nut with a tab on it. I think I can. Just turn the engine over the other way. There we go. Uh, and there we have the stator roughly finished. Oh yeah, we've got the last thing to do, which is to try and get this second like oil plug that goes down on the end of the cable from here. So I'm going to wrestle with that. I don't know if it will go on over this sheathing. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Always helps to put it on the right way around. If I can, oh, it does. It goes on 
goes on over that sheathing, so that's great. It's nice and tight as well. So then, let, I'll show you, I'll take this off the tripod in a minute and show you, but basically it just it just goes down, seats itself down inside the hole where the cable came out. Right. Okay, all done. I'm just checking that the uh, wire, the cable from the uh, stator is nowhere near any of the pinions. So it's not going to get chewed up by them. That's good. And uh, we've checked it. We're all done. Oh, yeah. Just want to check the... Uh, tightness of these uh, stator nuts. Okay, just check, because I did these up with the electric. Yeah. I think they're okay. Yeah, and uh, I'll just check the tightness on these. They're not very tight, they're only eight foot pounds. And, yeah. That's, uh, I think that's pretty, should be okay. As my torque wrench only goes down to 15. I think that they're about eight. Good, oh, I'm very pleased with that, yeah. Very pleased with that, well done. Right, so all we need to do now is uh, put some well seal on, gasket on, and then we're about ready to just fit the uh, the outer timing case.